I did Miranda's. Hey, Thane, what's up? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. I should go. Okay. I shall return to my meditations. Uh, nothing here for me to talk to him about. This is a men's restroom. What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? Oh, nope. I don't know. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. Damn, she already has a little of a When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life. And the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. 
So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Marin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Okay. We're going back to Omega eventually. The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Oh, hell yeah, we are. Hey, Garrus. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. Oh, yeah. I need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sedonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs. Told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. 
What are you planning to do when you find them? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Hey, no problem. We gotta go to the Citadel anyways, eventually. So... Squad-wise... Shadow games. Assignments. Helium delivered a locket. We're in sorry, looking for a mission. Lo missing lock in a little bit to her. Okay. Anything else that's new? No. Cool. We have like a lot of stuff to do. We chillin'. And I wanna keep playing. So we're going to I didn't mean to go to Captain Quarters, my bad. Alright. Commander, Morden requests to see you. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, Morden. Let's go talk. I guess he needs something for loyalty. I haven't really sent you on missions. I do kind of a... Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember my work? Studying the genophage? I remember. Didn't tell you full story. Discovered that Krogan population was growing too quickly. Overcoming genophage. Had to take steps. Personally led a team. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka. Other colonies. Restabilized Krogan population. The first genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. How the hell could you do it again? Exactly the reaction feared. In small numbers, Krogan sympathetic. Tragic. Galactic regret for deployment of genophage. But in large numbers, expansion, aggression, war. Krogan too dangerous. Had to stop them. First genophage was necessary. Cultural fragmentation made modified genophage even more necessary. We're not done, Morton. You can't just drop a bomb like this and walk away. Can discuss ethics later. More immediate concerns. Blood Pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Okay. Well, we got a lot of missions to do. No messages for you, Commander. 
I guess let me talk to Kelly. She seems pretty important. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Okay, Maybe so we'll I could... Talk later. So, like... I definitely could have got her to be like, hey, I, I want you to hold me. Battle broker. That's fine. I need Ellen. I need more stuff. So I'm going to take a couple minutes to probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Since we need all the resources, because I've been spending it pretty regularly. Launching probe. My question is, where do I find element zero? Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Now for the advanced mineral scanner. Okay, hold up. Let me, let me go do that. <laughs> let me go do that. Advanced mineral scanner, please and thank you. Uh, group priority Argus planet scanner technology been integrated and shipped. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Yes, please. Now let me go back to scanning planets. That way I can get even more Element Zero launched. Probe away. Maybe this Probe will away. allow me to get like some good stuff away. or more stuff. Maybe this allows me to get element zero better. Probe away. Couldn't tell you. Probe launched. Let's look for the big Probe stuff launched. really fast since I'm running out of probes. Probe away. One Probe super rich launched. with iridium. Probe launched. Really rich with iridium. bit of everything right on this one.
There we go. I'm like, there's got to be something around here. Looking for a big old spike. I know this is the most entertaining gameplay ever. Probe launched. Okay. We're done here.